Well, it's another Brass Monkeys day. Hello, camera, focus. I think I need to warm up this fan a little bit because the camera's starting to steam up. Again, the big job for today. Deadlocks for the van, they arrived. I have been putting this job off because it's, uh, well, it's another cutting holes in the van. But I've got some, some metal friendly silicon for sealing it up afterwards. I've got some step drills in a, in a nice case, rivets and, some, and a rivet gun. I've got a lot of coffee. I've got about five hours of daylight. So hopefully that's enough to do at least the, at least the cargo area. Lack of daylight does slow me down. Also, lack of getting up out of bed in the morning is slowing me down. Anyway, I'm gonna turn off this fucking camera uh, and, and, uh, and stop talking and start doing. Following the guide, I have measured and marked up the inside of the door. The instructions are pretty good and they expect a certain amount of accuracy with the measurements and to use a vernier gauge. I don't have one of those, but I do have the old fashioned equivalent. I've measured it, I've measured it, I've measured it, measured it again. I'm just about to start cutting. Wish me luck. I'm gonna drink a, drill a pilot with a small drill. Using a step, whoop, using a step drill to open up a ball deluxe set. I ought to have a reticulating saw for this. I don't own one. I don't know anyone who owns one. I am a big fan of the right tool for the right job. Sometimes. There we go. Awesome. Marked up the outside. And I've got the inside just test fit there. I think to be careful of is that you don't cut this protective foam on the inside. I want to take off as little as possible when I'm taking off the bottom here because there's not a lot of space between the rivet hole not that this is secure anyway there's not a lot of space between the rivet hole and the bottom of the with the cut out for the lock still need to tweak the bottom edge of this because it's pushing this up slightly but it does work locks riveted in i need to put the the decorative plate on the outside i've got some silicon to seal that up and i've marked out ready for the locking plate to go in here as well and the first one took me probably about an hour and a half lots of dicking around though it is my first ever van deadlock there's lots of measuring, measuring, and then measuring again.
fuck's sake. Oh fuck, not another one. I ran out of daylight, I ran out of battery, I ran out of memory card when I was putting in the deadlocks. But yeah, feeling secure with a deadlock, I think that's plenty secure. Now, that back door, you can't see it from the inside, but there is a deadlock here as well. Does mean that the lock is where the window would be, so there will be no sliding door window. Or maybe I just put a small one here. Maybe I do get a sights. It'll be double glazed as well, 